Hi everyone. Today we are going to be discussing about CFA versus FRM. So here at Fin Trainers, we train people in CFA, FRM, and USCMA. USCMA is slightly on a different track. CFA and FRM are both in the field of finance. Very well-respected designations in finance and probably the most difficult ones. So I hear a lot of questions about which designation, which certification to pursue. Is CFA more difficult or is FR more difficult? What are the job opportunities? So I want to stick and limit this discussion to only two criteria. One is difficulties, other is opportunities. In terms of cost, etc., yeah, CFA might be slightly more expensive to get the certification, the exam fees. But let's assume that those are not the main focus here today. We are going to be looking at the difficulty. Okay, now I'll just give you the nutshell that CFA is slightly more difficult in my opinion. A lot of uh, students might disagree who are pursuing a forum. So what we have seen, so I've taken both CFA exams, the FRM exams. What you will feel when you're studying for a forum is that the concepts, the quantitative aspects, the math involved is more difficult than CFA. That is true. That is true. But the reason why I'm saying CFA is probably slightly more difficult is because first the volume. So there are quite a bit of varied coverage details that you get into broader coverage across various topics in CFA, like even economics. Right? Whereas FRM is more laser focused on risk, financial risk. Right? So you need to understand a wide variety of topics. So that's, first of all, a difficulty. The volume itself is a difficulty. Then you have three levels to clear and each level on average takes around 300 hours, which means three levels. You're spending almost a thousand hours of prep time. That is for FRM, it's two parts only and you're probably spending around 250 hours each part, which means it's 500 hours to prepare for FRM. Also, even though the concepts might be difficult, the math is difficult, usually the marks required to clear an FRM exam is not as high as CFA. What we have seen historically is around 60% is more than enough to clear FRM part one or two, whereas you need closer to 70% to clear your CFA levels. Okay, again, it is. it depends on the student, the individual. What's your background? If you're coming from a non-math background, you're definitely going to find FRM more challenging. CFA is also going to be challenging but the math and quant aspect gets built up because first of all there are three levels so what you learn as quant in FRM part one is spread over in your CFA all right so that's on the difficulty side both are difficult probably CFA is slightly more difficult when it comes to opportunities CFA is more broader you said you tend to get more broader roles and if you are on the investment banking investment management pathway eventually you will become a portfolio manager which is very well paid and both equity research or credit research on buy side or sell side will also pay you well on your path to become a portfolio manager now frm uh, the conventional roles pay you decent amounts, right? You know, if you're in the credit risk profile or you're doing some kind of uh, corporate risk management, you're on the CRO pathway. But what we have seen in the last few years is with the changes that's happening in machine learning, in AI, the types of risks that are evolving, your ability to understand these risks and combine it with some kind of a software program like Python to develop some algorithm is extremely highly valued and they could be some of the biggest paying jobs right now. If you are an entry level FRM with coding skills, those could be huge. All right. So great opportunities again for both. Which one is going to give you better opportunity depends on also other aspects like do you uh, do you have an MBA or you are having some kind of a programming skill? So an MBA plus CFA is traditionally the way to get into some of the big investment banks and investment management firms globally. And FRM is more on the risk side. But again, if you are able to combine programming languages, that opens up a world of opportunities. Both are great designations. It's very tough that you will go wrong with either one.